Hey there, it's Bryce Altus here, Doctor of Audiology at Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to set up and use the micro mic from Resound. For this video, I'm focusing specifically on what the micro mic is, what it does, and why you might need one. The micro mic is only compatible with Resound hearing aids and it functions as a remote microphone only, which means the micro mic can send audio information, primarily speech, from the microphone in the micro mic directly into your hearing aids from a distance. The micro mic from Resound is backwards compatible, which means that it is able to hook up with any of their previous generations of wirelessly capable hearing aids, dating back to the Alira line of hearing aids in 2010. However, the micro mic is also compatible with any of Resound's more current wirelessly capable hearing aids, such as the Resound One, Resound Lynx Quattro, and Lynx 3D. If you in fact have hearing aids from Resound that came out after 2010, are as large or larger than a custom completely in the canal hearing aid, and are wirelessly compatible, then the micro mic is gonna work with your hearing aids. So if your hearing aids are compatible, then consider this video your intro to the micro mic's capabilities. Here's the micro mic, and here are a couple of its key components. When looking straight down, this small circular opening is one of the micro mic's microphone ports. And if you pick up the micro mic and tilt it forward, you'll see another microphone port as well as the power button and a status light. On the side of the micro mic, there are three buttons. The two larger buttons are the plus and minus volume buttons, and the smaller button between the plus and minus is the mute button. On the back of the micro mic, you will find the adjustable clip, which swivels side to side, allowing you to clip the micro mic onto a shirt or blouse or onto the lanyards that come with the device. And directly below the clip, there is a very small white button called the pairing button. Finally, on the bottom of the micro mic, you'll see the micro USB charging port. Before pairing the micro mic with your hearing aids, it's recommended that you fully charge the micro mic with the provided micro USB power cable. Before we can use any of the remote microphone features of the micro mic, we must first wirelessly connect the micro mic to your hearing aids. To do this, start by turning the micro mic on by pressing and holding the power button on the top right hand corner of the micro mic until you see the status light become illuminated. Next, restart your hearing aids. If you use rechargeable devices, either insert then remove your devices from your charger or press and hold the program and volume control switch on the back of your devices for approximately five seconds until you see three green blinks on the hearing aids, then press and hold the same button again to turn them back on. If using disposable batteries in your devices, simply open then close your battery doors. Next, you will need to locate the pairing button on the back of the micro mic below the clip. Using a small object like a pen or a paper clip, press the pairing button to put the micro mic into pairing mode. You should then see the status light start blinking orange, signifying that the micro mic is in fact in pairing mode. The micro mic will eventually switch from a blinking orange light to a solid orange light when it establishes a successful connection to your devices, and you'll also hear a melody being played in your hearing aids when this is completed. Once you've successfully paired the micro mic to your hearing aids, you can start using some of its remote microphone capabilities. If you're not familiar with remote microphone technology, it can drastically improve your ability to understand speech, especially if things like physical distance, plexiglass, masks, or background noise are negatively affecting your ability to understand speech. For example, if you're having a hard time hearing someone, you could have them walk directly up to you and then speak directly into your ears. That would improve the volume and the clarity of their voice, but it's not always appropriate or even possible for that to happen. Remote microphone technology accomplishes that same basic concept by picking up the speaker's voice through the microphone and then sending that audio into your ears directly through your hearing aids as long as the person holding or wearing the microphone is doing it correctly. To use the remote microphone feature on the micro mic, you first need to turn the micro mic on. Then switch your hearing aids into the remote microphone slash streamer program by either using the Resound Smart 3D app or pressing and holding the multi button for approximately two to three seconds on your hearing aid to switch your hearing aids into the micro mic program. 
Once in the micro mic program, you should start hearing the audio that's picked up from the micro mic's microphone being wirelessly streamed directly into your ears through your hearing aids. Then you or your communication partner can use the plus or minus buttons to adjust the volume of the audio being streamed from the micro mic into your hearing aids. Or you can have additional adjustment using the Resound app by adjusting the volume of the audio being streamed as well as the balance between the volume of your environment and the micro mic signal itself. Additionally, you can also temporarily mute the audio from the micro mic by pressing the mute button in between the plus and minus button on the micro mic or again you can use the app to do this as well. The closer the remote microphone is to your communication partner's mouth, the better. As long as the microphone is pointing directly at their mouth and not being covered by their hand or articles of clothing, then you should be able to hear their voice being streamed clearly into both of your ears when in the correct mode. There are a couple different ways you can get the remote microphone to be as close as possible to your communication partner's mouth. The easiest way is just to use the clip that's actually on the remote microphone itself. You can swivel it to the side and clip it to a shirt or a blouse or even a tie like this as long as the microphone is pointing directly at the mouth of your communication partner. You could additionally clip it to say a lanyard that you can hang around the neck of your communication partner and clip it on it and have the microphone point up at their mouth like that. You can also place it on a table and make sure that it's pointing directly at the mouth of your communication partner. You could also have your communication partner hold it even though it's not necessarily ideal because you can get a lot of scratching noises and so forth as long as they're not uh, covering up the microphone it'll still work. That's about it. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it go ahead and give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos just like this go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you have any ideas for future content that you want me to cover in a future video leave a comment in the comment section below. Thanks.